By now, you've probably seen those green trash bins all around the city. The reason? Towards residents must soon toss all of their food scraps into those green organic refuse containers instead of the black ones. Those are normally reserved for regular trash. It's just one of the changes taking effect in California because of updates to a state Senate bill aimed at reducing waste and curbing the state's greenhouse gas emissions. The organic waste rules are changing now. Why now? Um, it's a good question. Actually, the law was passed in 2016 uh, with the implementation date of January 1st, 2022. So most jurisdictions knew this was coming. Um, a lot of us were hoping it might get delayed a little bit longer due to COVID because COVID placed an undue burden on a lot of people staying home plus additional bills. But nonetheless, the state moved forward with the laws and basically it's the state's answer to uh, what they call the short-lived climate pollution is to eliminate greenhouse gas emissions. So the thought process is by taking your food waste and instead of putting it in your black trash container like we've typically been doing, you place it into your green container and it'll get composted, thus no longer going into the landfill, basically and causing greenhouse gas emissions. According to CalRecycle, landfills are the third largest source of methane production in California. About one fifth of the state's total methane, considered a super pollutant, 84 times more potent than carbon dioxide, comes from landfills. The state's ultimate goal from the 2016 bill was to cut organic waste disposal and thus its methane emissions in half by 2020. The next goal is to reduce organic waste disposal by 75% by 2025. How do you and your team enforce this new rule? Well, that's, that's the thing. So right now here in Torrance, we are not implementing it yet on the residential side. So there was an out the state allowed for. The state passed a bill in October called SB 619. That gave jurisdictions basically the time to kind of take a reset, if you will, not fully implement it as long as we provided notice to Cal Recycle that we were going to implement it by a certain date. So the city will implement by January 1st, 2023 while we're currently undergoing a rate study to see what the impacts of this law are gonna have on the rates. You started mentioning what goes into the container. Can you actually break down the specific things that are going to be placed in that green container and who's monitoring it? Great question for the second question. <laughs> um, all right, so what's gonna go into the container? Right now, currently you allow like the grass clippings, leaves, branches, maybe a little bit of dirt, so on and so forth, kind of your yard work. Um, what will go into the container in addition to what we allowed in the container previously is food scraps. So, you know, your end of your meal food, um, tomatoes, lettuce, um, your spaghetti, whatever you were going to normally put into your black container for food waste would go into there. Now you speak to monitoring, there will be a monitoring component that the sanitation division for the city will have to do. And that's gonna either be monitoring the routes to make sure that residents are in compliance with this law, or what we can do is do characterizations of the loads, which means that we would dump the load out and we would take an overall look at what's in there to see what percentage of food scraps are in there to determine participation. This organic waste rule is not just for residents, it's actually also for businesses. Talk about that. It's actually a state mandate that was passed a few years ago. Um, I believe it was AB 1826 that addresses commercial organics or organic recycling for commercial entities. This expands upon that. And so the private haulers that operate within the city of Torrance will have to offer an organics collection to, to the businesses as well as to the multifamily units as well. There will be tiers for the food recovery program. There's what they call tier one and tier two. Tier one basically is like a large scale uh, grocery store. I believe it's gotta be in excess of 100,000 square feet. And then tier two would be smaller restaurants and smaller grocery stores, like a mom and pop grocery store. Talk about the difference, how this affects a single family home versus an apartment building. The city provides service to the single family residents in Torrance. And right now, nothing has changed in the way that they dispose of their food waste. It still goes in the black container effective January 1, 2023, we'll be segueing into putting the food waste into the green container. Apartments may be different. Apartments are controlled or serviced, I should say, by private haulers. Private haulers may have their own program, and many of the private haulers are already rolling out that program within the city to collect food waste from the apartments as well as businesses in town. 
And regarding that rate study Jim mentioned, how this will affect residents' wallets is still to be determined. On the cost, we're working on a rate study right now. We're trying to determine the cost, and we're working on some things within the division to lessen the potential impact it may have on residents. We do anticipate a pretty significant increase due to SB 1383. We anticipate an increase in disposal costs. Our preliminary estimates look to be our disposal costs will be doubling once we um, allow food waste to be placed into the green container. There will also be some additional costs for enforcement as well as you know the monitoring as well as the procurement component. We haven't determined what those overall costs are yet, which was one of the reasons that we've delayed the implementation so we can make a full assessment. So here's what you need to know in a nutshell, or rather green garbage bin. What you were putting in your black bin on December 31st, 2021, you put in your black bin on April 2022. We're gonna continue that path until January 1st, 2023. At that point, residents will be able to put food waste into their green container, but we'll be doing multiple forms of outreach prior to then to let residents know now is the time to do this. So if residents have any more questions, where can they go for some answers? They can go to the city's website, they can go to the public works page, and they can look under trash and recycling, and we have the answers on, on our website.